the WIC Vendor Program. <laughs> California Department of Public Health, Women, Infants, and Children Division, or CDPH WIC, is a nutrition program for women, infants, and children. WIC serves pregnant women, women who have recently been pregnant, infants, and children up to their fifth birthday. Moms, dads, grandparents, foster parents, other caregivers and guardians may apply for the children they are raising. WIC provides benefits for a variety of nutritious foods, nutrition education, support for breastfeeding, and referrals to other services in the community. The WIC program thanks you for your partnership. Please know, as a California WIC authorized vendor, your participation is highly valued. Without your partnership, the WIC program could not be successful in serving families. The WIC Authorized Food List Shopping Guide. The WIC Authorized Food List Shopping Guide is divided into sections by food categories and will help you understand what brands, what sizes, and what types of foods the WIC shopper can and cannot buy. WIC Authorized Food Items are specific to each individual food category and subcategory. A food category identifies a general food group and a food subcategory identifies a particular type of food within the food category. Milk is a food category. Low-fat milk is a subcategory within the milk food category. There are different food categories listed in the shopping guide. These include milk, cheese, eggs, yogurt, whole grains, breakfast cereal, fruits and vegetables, and infant formula. Refer to the WIC authorized Food List Shopping Guide for information on the food categories. Not all foods are authorized for all shoppers. Here's an example of how WIC shoppers use the paper shopping guide. Let's go through the breakfast cereal food category. The shopping guide lists all the specific brands, flavors, and sizes of hot and cold cereal the WIC shopper can buy with their California WIC card. The WIC shopper can buy 12 ounces or larger sizes. How to conduct a California WIC card transaction. Integrated system. Integrated systems support the processing of multiple types of payment, such as CalFresh, cash, checks, credit, or debit cards through an electronic cash register and attached point of sale machine. Integrated systems are usually found in medium to large-sized chain stores. In a typical California WIC card transaction, using an integrated system, the WIC shopper places food items on the belt for the cashier to scan. The WIC shopper may separate WIC items from non-WIC items. This includes any WIC-authorized fruits and vegetables that will be purchased using cash value benefits. The WIC shopper may also inform the cashier that they are using the California WIC card. Begin scanning the items. All food items have a universal product code, or UPC, on their packaging. To ensure program integrity, it is best to scan the UPC number located on the item being purchased. Do not scan items from a barcode list. After all of the items have been scanned, Press the total key on the point of sale system. Next, apply any coupons or loyalty cards presented by the WIC shopper. Ask the WIC shopper to swipe their California WIC card. The WIC shopper must use their California WIC card as their first form of payment. Next, ask the WIC shopper to follow the prompts on the pin pad to enter their pin. The pin is selected by the participant at the WIC office. Do not ask for the WIC shopper's PIN or enter the PIN for the WIC shopper. After the PIN is entered, two receipt slips will print from the cash register system and the cashier will hand both to the WIC shopper. The first slip is the beginning balance receipt. The beginning balance receipt shows the WIC food benefits the WIC shopper had on their California WIC card at the start of the transaction. The second slip is the Benefits Utilized Receipt. The Benefits Utilized Receipt shows the items that will be deducted from the WIC shopper's WIC food balance. Some point of sale systems may not print out a Benefits Utilized Receipt. For these systems, the Benefits Utilized information will be shown on the electronic register or point of sale system screen. 
Ask the WIC shopper to review the beginning balance and benefits utilized receipt slips. It is very important that the WIC shopper review the beginning balance and benefits utilized receipt slips before confirming the transaction. The system will prompt the WIC shopper to approve the purchase. If the WIC shopper agrees with what is on the receipt, they will approve the transaction. The approved food items are then automatically removed from the WIC shopper's WIC food balance. Please note, once a WIC shopper approves the transaction, modifications can no longer be made to the WIC purchase. If the WIC shopper does not approve the transaction, modifications can be made to the WIC purchase, such as adding or removing items. A dollar balance will remain if non-WIC items are being purchased or the cash value benefit purchases exceed the participant's benefit amount. The WIC shopper may use additional forms of payment such as CalFresh, cash, checks, credit or debit cards to pay for those items. Cash value benefit items include any combination of fruits and vegetables in fresh, frozen, canned or dried fruits. The cashier completes the sale and the final transaction receipt is given to the WIC shopper. Troubleshooting California WIC card transactions. The California WIC card improves the shopping experience for both vendors and WIC shoppers. However, as a cashier, you may occasionally come across challenges when processing a California WIC card transaction. Some reasons why a WIC shopper may have trouble purchasing a food item with their California WIC card are 1. The food item is not on the authorized product list. If the system will not allow the WIC shopper to purchase a particular food item, the food item may not be on the authorized product list, or APL, because it is not a California WIC authorized food. The APL is an electronic file created and managed by CDPH WIC that includes all of the food items that have been authorized for purchase by California WIC participants. The food items are identified by a Universal Product Code, or UPC. Each food item has a unique UPC. The file is updated on a regular basis and all California WIC vendors are required to maintain the most current version of the APL in their WIC EBT system. Another possibility is that the food item may be a WIC authorized food, however the product is new to the marketplace and has not been authorized by California WIC. In that case, the system does not recognize the UPC as a WIC authorized food. Additionally, if a store is not using the most current version of the APL, an authorized food item may reject when the cashier attempts to scan it. If you believe an item is WIC authorized, but it is not on the authorized product list, please provide the product's UPC and, if possible, take pictures of the front and back labels and send them to wicfoods at cdph.ca.gov. Two. The food item package size is not authorized. The WIC shopper may have selected a particular size of a food item that is not authorized for WIC purchases. WIC shoppers can reference the WIC authorized food list shopping guide to find other WIC authorized options. The WIC shopper may put back any foods not authorized by WIC or may purchase the item with another form of payment. Three, the benefit is not available to the WIC shopper. The WIC shopper may have already used their WIC benefits for that food category, or the food item selected is not part of the WIC shopper's available WIC food balance. A WIC shopper can ask the cashier or customer service desk at the grocery store to print a food balance inquiry receipt. The food balance inquiry receipt lists the foods and the amounts available to the WIC shopper, as well as the expiration date. Four. The California WIC card is not working at the store. The personal identification number or PIN may have been entered incorrectly. The WIC shopper may have made multiple PIN attempts at the register, which locked the card for security purposes. Refer the WIC shopper to the toll-free number listed on the back of their California WIC card or refer them to their WIC office. Five. The point-of-sale system that processes WIC transactions is not working. 
If the point of sale system is unavailable for any reason, such as equipment malfunction or internet service being down, the store cannot process California WIC card transactions. Contact the equipment provider that processes WIC transactions for your store. If you are using an integrated system, contact your point of sale provider for assistance. Reading the receipt. A WIC shopper using WIC benefits to purchase food items must always receive a receipt after their transaction. The California WIC card receipt must include a list of the items purchased using WIC benefits, including the food item quantity, unit of measure, description, and item cost. The total purchase amount paid for the WIC foods, the benefit expiration date, and the benefit food balance, which shows the amount of the WIC foods remaining on the California WIC card. Please note, some receipts may show the difference between the vendor's price for a WIC food item and the maximum amount the state will pay for that particular food item or the maximum allowable department reimbursement rate or MATER rate. The WIC shopper is not responsible for paying the difference and the vendor may never ask the WIC shopper to pay this amount. In the example, $1.37 is the difference between the vendor's price for the box of cereal, $5.99, and the maximum amount the state will pay for that item, $4.62. The WIC shopper is not responsible for paying the difference of CDPH WIC supplies posters, shelf talkers, and decals to WIC authorized vendors free of charge to use throughout their store. These items are used to help WIC shoppers find authorized stores and WIC authorized foods. All reproduced materials with the California WIC logo or acronym must be approved by CDPH WIC before displaying them in your store. WIC shoppers may use coupons and buy one get one offers. Refer to the WIC authorized food list shopping guide if you are uncertain if an item is a WIC authorized food. Look out for vendor alerts from CDPH WIC for important updates and information.